Hey guys, Ben Plays here. Welcome to my let's play of Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. Now, um, I'm using an emulator for this. I wanted to use the Wii U VC, but I had some troubles with my capture card. <laughs> so, using an emulator instead. Um, but yeah, this is actually my favorite Zelda game. However, I've only ever played the 3DS version, so the 3DS version of this is my favorite Zelda game. I'm sure this will take over to become my actual favorite version of this game, but for the moment, the only one I really know is the uh, 3DS version. So, um, yeah, do with that what you will. I know that's a little bit of a uh, controversial opinion among Zelda fans. I just want to watch this intro with you guys. Let you see hints of what this game is about before I jump into it. I will say though, the graphics on the 3DS version do at least look a lot better. But then again, I never grew up with the N64, and these are decent, at least. My problem with the other recording is that there was a um, one or two second audio delay. That doesn't happen with an emulator. I also think the pitch was a little bit off. So, so I'll have to figure out how to get my capture card working again, but... Well, there's your intro. A little bit of what's going on. And I'm just gonna... Oops. Please. Controller, please. I'm of course gonna name him Link, because that is the proper name. And we'll get right into it. In the land of Hyrule, there echoes a legend. A legend held dearly by the royal family that tells of a boy. A boy who, after battling evil and saving Hyrule, crept away from the land that had made him a legend. Done with the battles he once waged across time, he embarked on a journey. A secret and personal journey. A journey in search of an, a beloved and invaluable friend. A friend with whom he had parted ways when he finally fulfilled his heroic destiny and took his place among legends. Link is dead in Majora's Mask. No, I'm kidding. Um, I don't like that theory, actually. <laughs> but I'm not going to talk about it. Hehehe. <laughs> he he. You two fairies did great. I wonder if he has anything good on him. Huh? This guy. Well, that shouldn't be a problem.
Ooh, ooh, what a pretty ocarina. Hey, Skull Kid, let me touch it. I want to see. You can't, Tail. What would we do if we drop if you dropped it and broke it? No way, you can't touch it. Ah, oh, but sis, why can't I try it out too? I'll be honest, I would much prefer to be playing this on my TV, but... Meh. I'm not gonna bother with the grass here. And I like how uh, Link jumps across those platforms. It's pretty cool. Now we go down the rabbit hole. Just like Alice in Wonderland. What's with that stupid horse of yours? It doesn't listen to a word that's said to it. There's no point in riding a thing like that, so I did you a favor and got rid of it. Hehehehe. <laughs> Aw, boo-hoo. Why the sad face? I just thought I'd have a little fun with you. Oh, come now. Do you really think you can beat me as I am now? Fool. Another thing is, I don't think I can do save states on this emulator, so I'm probably going to have to record episode 1 and 2 back to back. That's okay, though. And if you look at us, we are now a Deku Scrub. Hehehe, <laughs> now that's a good look for you. You'll stay here looking that way forever. Sis! Whoa, whoa, Skull Kid, wait for me, I'm still here. Tail, you can't leave without me. You. If I wasn't dealing with you, I wouldn't have gotten separated from my brother. Well, don't just sit there, Deku Boy, do something. Why are you looking at me like that? What is there, what, is there something stuck on my face? Will you stop staring and just open that door for me? Please, come on, a helpless little girl is asking you, so hurry up. Oh, Tail, I wonder if that child will be alright in his own. Okay, let's go. And we come through here. Hey, wait for me, don't leave me behind. So, um, that stuff back there, I, um, I apologize, so, so take me with you. You want to know about that school kid who just ran off, right? 
Well, I just so happen to have an idea of where he might be going. Take me with you and I'll help you out. Deal? Please? Good, so then it's settled. Now then, I'll be your partner, or at least until we catch that Skull Kid. My name's Tattle, so, uh, it's nice to meet you or whatever. Now that we've got all that straightened out, can we stop messing around and get moving? If I figure out something, uh, press, press C up and I'll tell it to you. Hopefully you'll manage to get by without my help until then. Link doesn't care. <laughs> and we're just gonna ignore her for now. But she'll basically just tell us that you can go up to that deck of flower and press A once you're standing on top of it to go into it. And so we're just gonna keep going through these, uh, Uh, we're gonna keep going through these flowers, and we got a Deku Nut. Actually, I think we got about ten. Now I'm gonna just equip those. <clears throat> so yeah, Tattle's your guide. She'll tell you what to do in certain situations. Um, hey you, come on, press C and talk to me. Oh, okay. I didn't actually do that. Let's do that. I thought I had to talk with A. No, C up. There you go, see? You can do it, if you try. When I fly over to people or objects, use Z to look at them so you can talk to them. Use Z targeting to talk to people even if they're far away. Or even if there's, no, or if there's no one to target, you can use Z to look straight ahead. But enough about that for now. Come over to this tree and check it out. It's strange, but the way you look right now sort of looks like this tree. It looks all dark and gloomy, almost like it could start crying any second now. How sad. Right off the bat. We get to hear how amazing the music in this game is. It's also got a bit of a dark tone to it. <laughs> You've met with a terrible fate, haven't you? I own the Happy Mask Shop. I travel far and wide in search of masks. During my travels, a very important mask was stolen from me by an imp in the woods. So here I am at a loss. And now I've found you. Now don't think me rude, but I have been following you. For I know of a way to return you to your former self. If you can get back the precious item that was stolen from you, I will return you to normal. In exchange, all I ask is that you also get back the, my precious mask that the imp stole from me. What? Is it not a simple task? Why, to someone like you, it should by no means be a difficult task. Except, the one thing is, I'm a very busy fellow, and I must leave this place in three days. How grateful I would be if you could bring it back to me before my time here is up. But yes, you'll be fine. I see you are young and have tremendous courage. I'm sure you'll find it right away. Well then, I'm counting on you. Alright, so he's counting on us to bring back his mask. I don't know what's so important about the mask, but I guess we'll find out. Self-clock town. He gives me the creeps. That mask salesman was the... Sorry, just thinking out loud. But three days? Even if we never sleep, that still leaves us with a measly 72 hours. Talk about demanding. Well, don't just stand there. We're going to see the Great Fairy. Look, you want to find the Skull Kid, don't you? The Great Fairy will know what he's up to. She watches over everything. And just between you and me, the Skull Kid is no match for the Great Fairy. 
Go to the shrine near the north gate. You'll find the Great Fairy in there. Okay. I have no idea how you're supposed to know where the north part of Clocktown is on your first playthrough. Um... Also, I realized I forgot to do something important in my first playthrough, but we'll find out. The Great Fairy... Why did they set my camera the other way? The Great Fairy is through this cave right here. Oh no! The Great Fairy! Young one, please hear my plea. I have been broken and shattered to pieces by the masked skull kid. Please find the one stray fairy lost in town and bring her to this fairy fountain. Okay, we could go do that right now. But I want to get a little bit into the story of this game real quick. So I'm going to show I'm going to take a small detour. Instead of going back to South Clock Town, which is actually where you're supposed to go. I'm going to go to... Is this east or west? I think it's east. Yep, east. Okay. Oh, it opens at 10 a.m. Shoot. What's with you? You're wearing a weird hat for a deck. Did you come to town to play? I bet no one will play with you, right? The adults are all busy getting ready for the carnival. The old astronomer at the observatory outside town is the only one who will spend any time playing with us kids. We bombers have our hideout at the observatory. You have to take a secret route to get to it. Oh, don't be telling Jim in North Clocktown that I told you that. Okay, we will not tell Jim. The secret route to the observatory? How do you know about that? Only Jim and us are supposed to know about that secret route. Okay. May as well just explore. Oh, open from 10 p.m. That skull kid has gone too far. We can't just let this happen. Quick, we have to find the stray fairy. You don't even have three days left. I know. Like I said, I wanted to show something else first. Oh, what a cute guest. Do you have a reservation? Where's your mother? I'm sorry, we're totally booked with re reservations. Please tell that to your mother. Oh, Tortoise, did you finish helping father? Then let Mother read you a story. Now, which story would you like to hear? I'll pass. It's almost 10 o'clock anyway. Yeah, so you can't actually read those stories right now. Um... Basically, Link will fall asleep and it'll just waste time. So. And here we go. Someone just went in here. <laughs> I am of the Gorman Troop. I have an appointment to meet with Madame today. Oh, really? Then that should be fine if you just go in. Oh, that was her saying that. Okay. We'll show that some other time, but what I really want to show is this. Most of the townsfolk already have taken shelter without waiting for the mayor's orders. The only ones left are public servants and committee members. Mr. Mayor and Carnival Committee members, please order those who remain to evacuate. Hmm. Ah, hmm, well. You cowards, do you actually believe the moon will fall? The confused townsfolk simply caused a panic by believing this ridiculous groundless theory. The soldiers couldn't prevent the panic, but outside the town walls is where the danger is. You want answers? The answer is that the carnival should not be cancelled. 
Isn't that right, Mr. Mayor? Heh, <laughs> well... Are you serious, Muto? It seems that giant chunk of rock above us hasn't caught your eye. At this time every year, we are overrun by tourists, so why is the town empty? Clearly it's your job to ensure the carnival's operation, but that's if people are here for it. Don't drag the merchants and soldiers into this. Hmm. If the soldiers wish to run, then run, Vissen. We councilmen will stick to tradition. This carnival will be a success. I've never heard of a defense unit abandoning its town. Madame Aroma would surely say the same thing, wouldn't she, Mr. Mayor de Tour? Let's not bring my wife into this. Alright. So, after failing to open this door... Yeah, the moon's gonna be falling. And... It's gonna fall ever closer and ever closer. And if we look up in the sky, we may be able to actually see it. There it is. Right there. But now I have to hurry up and go to South Clock Town. Not run into a sign randomly. Yeah, you enjoy swimming there, doggy. I don't have time. Alright. So we go back to the fairy fountain. And I should really hurry up with this. And I may as well show this. What's this? Green clothes? White fairy? Sir, could you by chance be a forest fairy? Oh my. My name is Tingle. I think I am the same as you, sir. A forest fairy. Alas, though I am already aged 35, no fairy has come to me yet. My father tells me to grow up and act my age, but why? I tell you, Tingle is the very reincarnation of a fairy. Now while I stand here waiting for a fairy of my own, I sell maps to help out my father. Lucky, lucky, you're so lucky to have a fairy. I know, I know, we should be friends. Yes, yes. In exchange, I will sell you a map for cheap as a sign of my friendship. Will you buy one of Tingle's maps? We're so poor we don't even have five rupees, so unfortunately we can't right now. I think I'm just gonna go over here and get some rupees. There we go. Now we can talk to Tingle again. Will you buy one of Tingle's maps? Clocktown, yes. You got a map of Clocktown. Red arrow on the map shows you where you entered, and the yellow area arrow shows your current location. Well, call again. Tingle, Tingle, Kululimpa! Yeah, also, you saw that you could buy a map of another area for 40 rupees. Trust me, save your money, that is a waste of rupees. <coughs> and here's the great fairy. Petal, and you, young one of the altered shapes. Thank you for returning my broken, bo shattered body to normal. I am the great fairy of magic. I thought that masked child was helping me, and I grew careless. All I can offer you now is this. I shall grant you magic power as a sign of my gratitude. Please accept it. You've been granted magic power. In your current form, press B to shoot bubble blasts. It's kind of lame, isn't it? <laughs> if 
that, so basically what she said there, I don't know why I skipped the text boxes, but if, if you are ever returned to your human form, she can help you again. So we might just want to keep that in mind. What do you want, shrimp? I'm busy practicing with my blowgun. If you can't pop that balloon, then don't mess with Jim. Grr. <sighs> For some inexplicable reason, the emulator I'm using decides to map the B button to the square button on my um, PS4 controller rather than the circle button. But don't think you're getting it that easily. So yeah, they have a hideout. He's the leader of the Bombers Gang. And you have to find them all by tomorrow morning. Okay. You can just blow bubbles at them. I found that out in my uh, failed recording. You caught me, now there are only three left. Okay. Petal, what do you have to say? Oh my god. The problem with the C buttons being mapped to a control stick is sometimes you press the wrong direction on the control stick, like I just did. Oh, you gotta be kidding me, that didn't stop him? Wait, why didn't that stun him? Oh my god. Now there's only two left. Granted, I don't know where the two are. Alright, oh, one's up here. Hi. Same one I forgot last in the last recording. Go in there. <laughs> Night of the first day. 60 hours remain. Okay, well, let's not let that stop us. Let's just go catch the last kid. And on the way, let's look at this. Wait, wait, hang on. This is my private property. Don't try using it when I'm not around. I've already sold out of my wares, and the carnival hasn't even begun. I'm thinking of closing up shop so I can buy a gift for my wife and return her to my village. I've heard that a stone called the Moon's Tear shines brighter than any other in the land. If you've got one, I'd really like to get it from you. My wife would love it. If you give it to me, I'll give you my spot here, deck of flower included. Well, we don't have any anything on us now. Do you have one? You're a deck of scrub, so you know just how convenient a deck of flower can be. If you don't hurry, I'll give it to another deck of scrub. The early scrub gets the nut. Never say that again. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> I've never heard that before. <laughs> I've literally never heard that before. I've also got some friends watching me on Discord right now, so I'm hoping once I get the code, they'll mark it down for me in my text channel. Okay, so the one is in the middle. What do you guys think? No way, no scrubs! 
I guess not. Once we let some kid who wasn't human join our gang, and boy did we ever regret it. Sorry. But I'll teach you the code, just like I promised. I can, o I can tell you only once, though, so pay close attention. Are you ready? Five, two, one, three, four. I'm not going to remember that in a million years, so please, guys, mark it down. <coughs> Yay, I don't have to mark down one thing on paper. Over here, there's a guy. I'm not doing anything suspicious, really. Uh huh. For some reason, I don't believe you, buddy. Okay. If you want to pass through here, you have to say the secret code. Well, let's enter the code we had. Five, two, one, three, four. Um, that's right. If you know the code, then you remember, right? Okay, here you go. Now, if you ever do forget, um, they'll tell you the code again, but only this time around. So if you forget any time within the next three, three days. Okay. Tattle, what are you... I wonder how the astronomer knows the school kid. You interrupted me just to tell me we didn't even have three days left. Right, um... I'll talk about that later, Pika. Well, well, a strange-looking child has joined me today. Are you a new friend of the Bombers gang? Hmm, your manners seem much better than those of your mischievous friend from the other day. <laughs> that ill-mannered troublemaker from the other day said he'd break my instruments. He said he'd steal my moon's tear. There was no stopping him. Even now, just watch him. He's probably causing trouble around the clock tower. Will you gaze into the telescope? Okay, stop shaking your butt at us. Oh my god, I pressed circle again. <laughs> it's gonna take me... It's been the death of me in my Ocarina of Time randomizer series, too. <laughs> it seems like it's gonna be the same in this series. You'd think I'd get used to it, but nope. Okay, so right here is a scarecrow. Yo, hey baby, I'm a style and scarecrow wandering in search of pleasant music. Time will pass in the blink of an eye if you dance with me. If you lack, baby, we can forget the time and dance till dawn. Shall we dance? I'm actually going to say no. Oh, sorry, that's too bad. In that case, come back any time if you do decide you want to dance. By the way, I know of a mysterious song that allows you to manipulate the flow of time. Do you want to learn it? Crap. Oh, 
Okay, well, whatever. Yeah, I'll showcase it later. Don't you remember that Deku script? Chill, Tattle. In any case, I think it's getting close to the wrapping up point, so... Let's just uh, go get the spot from the Deku Scrub. And I hope... I don't know what hours this uh, side quest is, but I have to do this before dawn if I want any chance of getting it done. Okay. Okay, first... Gonna equip... The Moon's Tear. If you have a Moon's Tear, I must get it from you. My wife would love it. If you give it to me, I'll give you my spot here. Deck of Flower included. That's a good deal. Ah, that stone. You must hand it over to me. In exchange, I'll give you my spot here. Deck of Flower included. Yes? You traded the Moon's Tear for a land title deed. You really helped me out. Now I have the perfect souvenir for my wife. She hasn't set eyes on a jewel or strange sparkling stone like this in a very long time. The title deed for this spot should be in high, high demand among Deku Scrubs, but you already know that. If you don't need it anymore, you can always sell it. So yeah, that gives us a hint for one of the side quests in the game, and what a long side quest it is. One that you can do either all at once, or do in pieces. It's pretty nice. Anywho, I want to go... Uh, shoot, shoot, shoot. This is not where I want to go. I want to go to East Clock Town. Quickly. I didn't want to talk to him. I'm going to the inn. Now, if you look at their main entrance... Check-in begins at 8 a.m. Oof. I don't... I may run out of time doing this. Especially if I don't aim with my deck of flower. Luckily, there's a entrance up here that a human wouldn't normally be able to get to from the outside, but a Deku Scrub can. Lucky for us. Oh, he's here. Good. This item doesn't seem to work here. Paper, please! Oh, okay. I jumped the gun a bit. Yay! Oh, he saved me. This fell down here, I'll give it to you. You got a piece of heart! Nice. Each new heart you put together will increase the amount of hearts you have. And with that, guys, I think I'm going to end off the episode here. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you do, please leave a like. And if you really loved it, then subscribe. But I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace.